The last two, the final two ways, are a, a, a little more confusing, or a little more extended than these ones so far, but they haven't been all that complicated, so I think we, we can handle it. Uh, the this is the sixth way is if a, a a a runner is called out for having interfered with the fielder, then the the scorer shall credit the put out to the fielder with whom the runner interfered. So so if the runner is called out it is called out, so we just say is out for interfering with a fielder. The the put out goes to the the, the fielder who was interfered with and and the exception to this rule being if the the run or if the fielder was was attempting to throw the ball to first base then the the uh, the fielder who was interfered with will get credit for an assist and the first baseman will actually get credit for the put out so if the fielder who who was interfered with is is in the act of throwing the the first baseman is credited with the put out and the the fielder who was interfered with is 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 credited with and assist and we'll look at assists in the the, the next video so we can move all this over and then the 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 final way is is similar to, to the, that and that is if the the uh, the the batter where we, we use the term batter runner because he's when it, once he, he he leaves the batter's box he's technically the batter runner if he is called out because of interference by a preceding runner, then then the the, the scorer shall shall uh, credit the put out to the first baseman, and, and so so the runner or, or the, the the batter is called out due to a preceding runners interference the put out is credited to the first baseman and and again if the fielder so so if the fielder interfered with was in the act of throwing then he, re he he's credited with an assist assist and so this would be the 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 situation the situation could arise if there is a runner say on first base and the there's a ground ball to the the second baseman and under the rules the 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 runner has to allow the fielder to make a play on that ball but if he if he doesn't if the umpire judges that the runner running from first to second base may purposely interferes with that second baseman you know then then we would call the runner we would call the batter out and so the first baseman would receive and assist. So these are the seven different ways where a fielder could receive credit for a put out, you know, kind of a, 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 in an automatic sense. The, and then we have the eight ways here where the catcher could be received by a, a, an automatic put out or four automatically for a put out and then the three ways and, and actually the, the, the ironic thing perhaps is that we have these eight ways here and then the, the seven ways for the other fielders but the majority 
will fall into these three categories that